Welcome back and thanks for joining us. Diabetic and weight loss drugs like Wegovy, Ozempic, and Manjaro have skyrocketed in popularity recently. Recently, and now there's a new drug on the market, Zepbound. So today I'm joined by Dr. Robbie Kant. He's an endocrinologist with AnMed Health and Anderson. So, so thank you so much for joining us today. Well, thank you for having me, ma'am. And uh, I understand all of these uh, weight loss drugs are so kind of in a classification of drugs, GLP-1 uh, types of drugs. And so tell me a little bit what people should know about these, how you should go about finding a doctor, because um, I understand there can be some side effects that can be pretty serious with some of these drugs. Um, so just walk me through, if, if you're looking to find a doctor, how should you go about doing that, making sure it's somebody you trust? Yeah. So, you know, even though most of the insurance don't recognize this as a, like, you know, chronic uh, condition, obesity is a chronic uh, medical disease, you know. So it's not simple. There's no cure for it. Um, the medications help. But lifestyle is still the primary, so like the treatment modality. So mm -hmm. these medications, we know that if we stop Ozempic, uh, most of the patients they gain all their weight. Mm -hmm. So it's a long-term medication. They have their long-term side effect. And what causes medication, uh, like obesity? What other factors are in there? Some medications, some other health conditions. So you want a uh, provider who sit with you, understand it, rather mm -hmm. than just hand you medication and just say, hey see you next time mm -hmm. or just say eat better or like eat good like understanding it is not that simple otherwise we won't have this obesity pandemic so mm -hmm. you need a doctor who sit with you look at your medications there are medication which cause weight gain which are very common in diabetes mm -hmm. world i see patients on the insulin all the time higher dose than they need which cause weight gain mm -hmm. you know i adjust those medication they are hormone problem which are rare but still can cause weight gain so they look through that they help you clean up the medication help you with a uh, personalized goal because everyone different. Mm -hmm. Some may want the weight loss because they want to look good, but most of the patients do it because they're struggling. They're struggling with, with the health, health conditions. They have like fatigue, they're tired, they have diabetes, they have heart conditions, they have 10 different pills and all add to the expense. Mm -hmm. So who sit with that, say, hey, what's your goal is? We need to get you off this medication. Let's set up the goals, you know? Mm -hmm. And then once you start losing weight, they look into it, how to like an empower patient set up the goals like next step you know how to like uh, prevent weight like you know um, long-term weight management basically mm -hmm. you know so if you do too strict of diet control it's hard to sustain they leak in mm -hmm. their weight they lose a lot of muscle mass initially and they end up worse when they cannot afford the medication or some reason they stop the medication uh, so those are the kind of thing you want to look, you into look for. And we have two viewer questions that we mm -hmm. want to get to as well. So if we can pull up one of those. One was asking, does insurance cover this? Um, so let's go through the different drugs that are out there and does insurance ever co cover yeah. some of them? So there are like a uh, few major uh, group of medications and the way they divide it, the medications, they have different brand name. For example, Zebbound is the same medication as Monjero. But mm -hmm. Monjero is approved for diabetes, Zebbound is for obesity. So if we're talking about the insurance coverage, you know, most of the diabetes, like if you have diabetes, these medications are covered. It's just about the insurance, which one. Okay. So they are Ozempic and Vigovi. They are semaglutide, that's the actual medication. Vigovi is approved for weight loss and Ozempic is for diabetes. Same thing uh, is Monjero and Zebbound. One is for diabetes and uh, other one is obesity. Even if you use for diabetes, it causes weight loss because of the same medication. Mm -hmm. uh, so if you have diabetes, your uh, physician, your provider will help you approve like through some paperwork. Most of the insurance want that, but they've never been a problem. Mm -hmm. Obesity is a little different. Like I said, most insurance don't recognize it as a chronic condition. So a lot of insurances don't approve that. Um, but so basically, if you get it for diabetes, it'll be uh, likely covered by your insurance. But if it's just for weight loss, then it may really depend on your just insurance. Because insurance and, and yeah, I, I know this can cost up to a thousand dollars or more a month. It is, uh, yeah. Yeah. And I, I know we have one more viewer question. Um, Joe B. Joy B. asked, "Is there an ideal age range? So is it safe for somebody 50 to 60 years old?" So, Zebbound and most of these medications are approved for adult use. So. There's no ideal age, age is more about the comorbidities. So mm -hmm. you look at that, we look at the weight, like how you're obese or overweight. If you look at it, there is about the healthy weight. Everybody mm -hmm. has their own different healthy weight. How you know it? If you have high blood pressure, you have prediabetes, that means your body is telling you you reach a weight that you cannot handle. You know, so you don't have to wait until you're on 10 different medications. Those are the time you want to target this so you can prevent those complications over time. Mm -hmm. So, so it's more about your about body, is, not yeah. your age. Yes, ma'am. All right. It's more about that. Well, thank you, Dr. Cotton, so much for joining us today. Well, and we'll toss me, it back to uh, Tori and Justin.